there aren't enough organs for all the people who need a transplant. Unlike so many other areas of medicine, like orthopedics, if you needed a knee, we just pull a knee off a shelf and schedule the surgery and replace your knee. We can't do that with patients who are waiting for an organ transplant. So living organ donation allows us to get around the roadblocks of the lack of organs for transplant. When you're diagnosed with end-stage liver disease, you know that you're running out of time. Now with living donor, we don't have to wait until that patient is really, really sick and is at the top of the line. So we can go and proceed with the transplant before all these life-threatening conditions can occur. So that's going to provide better outcomes, shorter wait times. The liver is a unique organ in that it is the only organ in the body that can regenerate itself. That unique feature, that the liver can regrow itself, allows us to remove a significant portion of it safely for the donor who will grow their liver back to full size and for half a liver to go into another patient and grow with the patient as they become full size. Right now in this country, we have 14,000 patients on the wait list for a liver transplant. And with the best effort, we can do 9,000 liver transplants. So there is a gap of patients that are not being transplanted. And I think living donation is probably the best option to reduce that, that gap. We can schedule surgery, do your organ transplant whenever it's convenient, rather than waiting for some arbitrary system to determine when it's your turn. There's a hunger out there, particularly among young people, to contribute in a way that does something positive, to do something special, to do something that saves another human being's life and that you have control over. If any trainee in our institution asks me ever who's the most important patient in the hospital, it's the live organ donor.